Okay, so I got my 95R on the lift because it developed a leak in the fuel cell, which is common for these cars. This car has about 4,000 miles on it. I put a thousand of them on it. I've had it for a couple of years. So replace the tank. I'll put it up in the air so you can see the new Glenn's performance tank. There's the old one. Uh, only thing left to do now is put some gas in it and see if it see if it fires up. Here's a look at the interior. This is how they came from the factory. Minus the signatures and the dryer lints. Mice hate those. If you want to keep mice out of your vehicle, put some of those bounce dryer sheets in there. Here's a view from the bottom side. Normally there's a fuel safe decal right here. Other than that, it looks, looks original. After the powder coated black, Here's a look at the original fuel cell that came out. Everything transferred over from the factory one to the Glenn's Performance tank. This is the Glenn's Performance 95 Mustang Cobra R, fully fabricated sheet metal 20 gallon fuel tank as delivered. Some very good welds on there. You can see it's got baffling inside. It's got a, a chamber in there. That's where your pump will go. Looks good. Okay, I'm gonna turn this over a couple of times with my foot to the floor and what that does it tells the PCM not to fire the fuel injectors that's to help prime the system because this tank was completely empty the bladder had leaked out so bad that all the fuel had came completely out of the fuel cell so uh, and anything that was left in the lines came out when I replaced the tank so anytime you want to not fire the injectors basically try and prime the fuel system just hold hold the throttle to the floor and the PCM won't fire the injectors Okay, let's see if she starts now. <laughs> <laughs> 